Just stop teasing and get in my belly. Oh, fuck. Um. Um. Sorry. I must have clicked the button by mistake. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. Do apologise, Clan, for starting the stream a little bit early. Um, just half a day, unfortunately. I hope everyone can hear me. I have to keep my voice reasonably low. Um, so if you can't hear me, let me know and I'll readjust the volume. And for those that are wondering, this is not a ham sandwich. This is a, a pizza crunch, which is a basically battered pizza. Oh my god. I apologise, I'm actually starving, so you're going to be hearing me eat. I do apologise. Excuse me. But let's get to the main topic of the stream. After I wash this down. Excuse me. <laughs> Um, and I'll reiterate it is a battered pizza cruncher that's been deep, battered pizza that's been deep fried. Uh, so I will be munching on it throughout the stream forever, forever how long it goes on. Uh, and no, I'm, unfortunately no Ember, um, they didn't have any of the show up so I just grabbed Fanta. Uh, so let's get to the main topic of today's live stream which is the recent news about the Wii U. And uh, firstly, for those that haven't heard, the Wii U has officially now been given a release date and also a price range and two separate bundles. And I have dubbed these bundles accordingly. There, if you excuse me, I'm going to get one last video of this. Yum. And uh, you'll probably hear family in the back there, but screw it. Do apologize for these ones. But let's have a wee quick look at these bundles and I'll give you my own personal names I've given to them. Uh, so I'll get them up. Uh, the first of the bundles is the... Now I'm going to be going with the European, the uh, American prices because these are the only ones that have been confirmed. The European ones have not. Uh, allow me to introduce you to the... Basically the Yes I Got It bundle. Which is... Uh, Everything that comes with a basic Wii U bundle, 32 gigabytes of memory, a charging cradle for and stand for the console and the controller, Nintendo Land game, uh, excuse me, it comes with that burp as well, Nintendo Network Premium subscription, all for the equivalent price of $350. Um, that's the Yes I Got It bundle. Uh, the other bundle is the Fuck I Got This bundle. Which is uh, basic, the basic of basic bundles that you can get, which is the Wii U console, one game pad and controller, HDMI cable, 8GB of memory, uh, no sensor for the European version, but there is a Wii sensor bar for the US version, and an AVC adapter for all for the equivalent price of $300. Don't you just love it? <laughs> Uh, I have dubbed these bundles accordingly, as I stated, I have dubbed the Yes I Got It bundle, which is the bundle that all of us, if we're going to be getting a Wii U, are going to be aiming to get because it's the bundle that is the best. And it probably is the bundle that if I was going to get a Wii U, it would be the one I would be going to get. I just saw it for good. Mm. Amy. Um, the other bundle is basically the oh fuck bundle, uh, which is uh, uh, which is basically uh, just going to have to mute. Uh, where's the mute button? Huh? Uh, uh, oh, can't mute. Oh well. Um. See you, Grant. Sorry, I did see. Bye bye. Uh, <laughs> uh, but the that bundle for me, which is the 300 one, is just the standard bundle actually, which is the bundle that you you will be getting if you can't afford the premium bundle or the oh yeah bundle. Uh, 
in my opinion, that bundle's pathetic. <laughs> um, it doesn't even come with a game. Which most consoles should know upon their release, in my opinion. Even if it's a bare bones shit ass game like Nintendo Land. But, as I just say, I'm not the biggest fan of Nintendo because of <clears throat> various reasons. However, this Wii U console, I will admit, I am interested about it. And there is actually, I will happily admit that there is actually, from what I heard, I have tried to do a bit of research, but no one can give me a clear bloody answer. Um, it does have an actual very decent release day library, which I'm kind of hit or miss on. Um, there's also the uproar with Bayonetta 2 being a Wii U exclusive, which is just a business thing, deal with it. I'm sorry, I had to say that. Um, but as I said, the main problem I've always had with the Wii U has been the controller, in my opinion. And it just, it's a tablet controller, and in my opinion... It shouldn't be the main controller. I really feel like that's going to cost a fortune to replace if it breaks. <sighs> just for me, personally. It, just, it really does annoy me. It, it, just, it just looks like if you break that, it's going to cost you the equivalent of probably getting, a, getting maybe a cheap-ass tablet. Which is a pain in the ass. Ow. I'm too dumb to eat, apparently. But, wow, nearly £200 to replace the controller? Fuck that. <laughs> um, that is extortionate. That is way too much for a controller. And it's just, I know, like, Nintendo have been the innovators in their time. Um, for, for, for hell, for fuck's sake. Look at the NES and the SNES, they are considered to be classic consoles and a console that everyone should play. And they innovated a hell of a lot. Um, but, mm. <laughs> They'll probably stand on it eventually as well. <coughs> and they did try and do a lot of innovations, even look back at all the fucking accessories that the NES had, from the zap gun to the dance mat. To the fucking oh god, there was so much. It was unbelievable. Um, I never had an NES or SNES, so I don't know all this. My first console was the N sixty four, and I loved my N sixty four. But it's just this really. I know Nintendo tend to try and innovate because they're trying to appeal to both of the hardcore gamers and the classic gamers. Which um, I understand why they're trying to do this, especially with this console. This console has been advertised as Nintendo's hardcore gaming console. Um, however, let's face it, this console is only just catching up with the with the seven, with the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Um, Nintendo have been a few years behind Sony and Microsoft for years now, especially with the Wii, which admittedly done reasonably well at launch. But how many hardcore games were on that console? I'm trying to think of stuff off the top of my head. Um, there was No More Heroes, which I thought was alright. Uh, Real Steel. They were they were all different variations. There weren't. It wasn't. The Wii U was always considered a family console. Um, Super Smash Brothers, but that's debatable. Um, there were a couple. Like uh, there was an RPG called um, what the hell was it called again? Something Blades. Um, it was a JRPG that came out, um, fuck, it involved robots and humans fighting each other, it got, it, a, a blank, uh, something Chronicles, I think it was called, I'm not upset exactly the name, but that was basically the last game, uh, it wasn't Xenoblade, it was actually something Chronicles, I can't remember the name of it, but it's gonna bug me all, day, all the time now, um, but it was a JRPG that was released a few years ago, it was pretty much the last hardcore game released on the... Um, we basically, and apparently it's actually extremely long and very well done, but as I say, compared to another JRPG on the Xbox, it looks pitiful. And 
this the Wii U is basically Nintendo playing catch up. Do apologize. Uh, I have another half. Look at it. Look at the crispiness. Look at it. A crispy. Thank you, Xenoblade Chronicles. That was the name of the game. It was gonna bug me if I didn't get it. Uh, my heart's dead. I, ha I have no heart. <laughs> um, but, let's face it. Uh, yes, it's a battered pizza. <laughs> um, I have a fast metabolism. That's why I'm not fat. <laughs> but, back to the topic. As it is, I'm always very skeptical on the Wii U. Like, I do like the look of some of the games that are coming available. I'm not going to say the Wii U is a console that I'm never going to get. I will eventually get it eventually because I probably would have buy it for my little sister if I can because, I don't know, she likes the Wii. Um, it's, 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 it looks like a great family console still and I really don't, they're trying to appeal to the hardcore audience which is what the Wii U is. It's basically Nintendo's ditch you go, we like the hardcore games too. Look, we've got these games here. We've got Mass Effect 3. You can be disappointed on another console. We've got Black Ops, uh, we've got Darksiders 2, we've got Batman Arkham City. All games, well, besides one or two, that came out a long time ago. Um, now, don't get me wrong, for those that haven't played the game, what will Mass Effect be like on the Wii U? Exactly the same, except for you get to use the gamepad as a mini-map. That's from what I've seen. You get to use the gamepad as the mini-map. That is it. And some inventory shit, blah, 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 I don't care. And for when it asks, yes, the extended cut is going to be the default ending in the Wii U version. It's going to be a shiny piece of shit still. But back to the topic. As it says, the Wii U console is Nintendo's ditch to get back into the hardcore gaming. Which, <laughs> they could have done a few years ago. And this whole gamepad thing really still bloody annoys me like as it is i prefer i don't even have a controller with me i prefer a gamepad i like my controllers that's how i play my games well actually i've been playing Baldur's gate the day and i've been using this thing which is really taking a hardcore time to get used to um but the wii u graphics are supposed to be on par with the xbox and ps3 Anyone who's saying it's on par with the Xbox 720 and PS4, those consoles aren't out yet, so we have not got a fucking clue what they are going to look like. Mmm. Mmm. However. Do apologize, this is a bit tough. This probably was not the best idea to do this. <laughs> but screw it, I'm doing it now. Um, however, that's, just, that's, that's, that's what I see the Wii U being. And it's debatable, it's debatable. Like the Xbox and the Xbox 360 and the PS3 are about five, year, five six years behind. Uh, what, what uh, I don't know why the Wii only gets... A, and no AVI. Uh, you can get an AVI cable. It does come with the Wii U. Just not in the European version. Don't get it. But. As it is. It's just, as it is. They're, they're trying to branch out and bring back the hardcore game. Man, because back in the day. Fuck it makes me sound old. Nintendo was technically the hardcore gamers. Um, the NES, the SNES, the N64, even to the GameCube to a certain extent. <coughs> which I still have my GameCube as in. It's up in the cupboard somewhere right now. Hmm. And. Actually, when they tried to branch out and get into the family market, the casual gamers, because even became a much more acceptable thing they kind of screwed themselves because they made too many family games the Wii U was primarily just 
a family console. There were some hardcore games on it, but it was wasn't that really hardcore. It was just a family console. We fat, we baseball, a couple of we silly stupid games. The only decent ones on it were the Umbrella with Resident Evil games, and they were on real shooters. And then of course the PS Move ripped the Wii off. Excuse me. Uh, be able to, I'm not saying there weren't any hardcore games on the Wii U, on the Wii, but there weren't a lot. They, like, if you were a hardcore gamer, you didn't play it on the goddamn Wii because of that stupid bloody sensor thing. I'm sorry, like, the, the motion control thing really got old for me. The, I have a Kinect, so I can't really say much, but the Kinect at least functions to a certain extent. The Wii control really bugged me because the sensor always got uncalibrated and it really bugged me. And I may have the same problem with the new Wii U if I do get it eventually, um, but as I said, it all comes to oh, it, it all comes down to a bit of an issue. As I say, it comes down to your your choices. And as I say, the main problem I've got is gamepad and a few other wee bits and bobs. But they are I will happily admit that at least Nintendo are trying to get back into the hardcore gaming market. But I also think that it's a little too late because hardcore gamers are all fixated on the the big two basically well sorry the big three in my opinion pc ps3 xbox those are the three primarily hardcore gaming consoles and right i'll have to admit i'll play on any console xbox ps3 or pc if i had a good enough graphics card but as i said i just prefer the xbox because i like the controller i like this but I will happen that the PS3 is actually a really good console as well. And the PC is, of course, if you want the best gaming experience, PC is the best option for you. If you can afford a high-end gaming PC, it blows everything out of the water. So, as it says, I, don't, I think, if, in my honest opinion, I don't think Nintendo should have went the route they're going with the Wii U with this whole touchpad thing. I think they should have just made a, a games console with a proper controller. That's what I think they should have done. Zombie U, I will admit, Zombie U looks interesting. I will happily admit that. And may, if they incorporated the gamepad in that, I liked. But what I don't like about the bundles as well is it comes with the the with the stupid bloody gamepad, the the tablet basically. Only it doesn't come with another controller. That's all it comes with. From what I'm from what I can see from the bundles, all it comes with is the pad it does not come with a game pad you have to buy the game pad separately uh by the way you can also use your wii controllers on the game here's my advice to you take your wii controllers throw them out the window and get a game pad <coughs> simple and Oh, excuse me. And as I said, I just don't like that Nintendo should have won this route. But as I said, from a business point of view, they're trying to play both sides, basically. They're trying to stay on the casual gamer side and the family gamer side, which, fair enough, the Wii U does look like a good console to have for the family. Good for game nights and entertaining things. But for a hardcore gamer, it's debatable. Hello. It's debatable. Whether or not the Wii U will probably be a hardcore gamer's console. It's debatable. Like, we won't know until someone plays some hardcore games on it and tells us what it is. But here's the thing. As soon as a bloody PS4 or Xbox 720 comes out, guess what happens to the Wii U? It gets kicked to the bloody curb. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. Uh. Excuse me. Excuse me, I've got to get a quick sip. Nice. And as it is, the, as the Wii U is basically your, if you get it, it's your standby console. Uh, no, Dolot and Juice. Sorry. Uh, it, for hardcore gamers, we're all going to stick. I can guarantee that there will be people who will buy the Wii U, but most hardcore gamers will still get their games on Xbox or PS3. 
until the 720 or the uh, PS4 comes out. Because that's what we've been hardwired to do for the past five years. I'm still going to buy my console, my games on Xbox. Um, if I do eventually get a PSD or even a Wii U, I may buy one or two games on them, but as I said, I just mainly, I will prefer, um, I will prefer just my, my Xbox. And it has been rumoured that the Wii U may have better graphics than the Xbox, 7, the Xbox 360 and PS3. However, the proof is in the pudding. Or in my case, the proof is in the pizza. Huh, coincidence. <laughs> and then of course you've got the hardcore fans and all that, the people who will say, Oh, but guess what? Nintendo are gonna beat the consoles this better. It's this better. It's this better. It's got this. It's got that. It's got this. It's got this. Shut up. I want to slap those people across the face. Sorry, I really despise those people who, don't get me wrong, I have been a victim. I sometimes suffer from blind loyalty, but as I've got older, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm loyal to you, but don't fuck me over or I'll, I'm gone. <laughs> um... And it really does, like, as I said, it all comes down to your own personal preference. And the Wii U, for me, just doesn't look like a hardcore gamer's console. The only hardcore game that's coming out, to my knowledge, exclusively on the Wii U is Bayonetta 2. Which... <sighs> yeah, it just comes with a gamepad. Oh, excuse me. Uh. Excuse me. The only hardcore exclusive game that's coming out, as I said, was Bayonetta 2. Which that has co caused a whole uproar of anger towards people and fans of the original thing. The original Bayonetta because it was on Xbox and also, uh, I think it was on PS, I think it was either on Xbox and PS3 or just Xbox. And people are kind of pissed off at this, the fact that it's a, a Wii U exclusive. Uh, welcome back MD. And, and here's the thing. I have no problem with exclusive games. As I say, I intend to buy a PS3 eventually, uh, and as a, but mainly because there's a few exclusive PS3 games that are coming out that I really want to get my hands on. Um, Beyond Two Souls, I want to get the Uncharted series again. Um, there's a couple other games coming out that I really want to get. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, the Last of Us as well. I want to get that game. It is awesome. It looks awesome. I cannot wait to get a Last of Us. I'm sorry. That's one of the main reasons why I want to get a PS3 is because of mainly The Last of Us because it looks like a fantastic game. Um, and that's the only reason I want to get a PS3, but also for other reasons. Like, I'll happily admit the allure of PlayStation Plus is tempting me. I'll say that right now because a couple of my pals are describing it to me. The amount of free shit you get on PSN if you get PlayStation Plus is unbelievable. And I shit you not. You get... Well, here's, a, here's an example. This month, people who have PlayStation Plus get Red Dead Redemption for free. I'll repeat that again, and MD's probably going to have a, like a heart attack. Red Dead Redemption for free if you have PlayStation Plus this month. Wow. Heart attack. <laughs> um... So as I said, that really tempted me, but the Wii U, the Wii U is really nothing for me personally. Uh, bad news, BP, there's probably never going to be a Red Dead Redemption on PC. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. There's probably never, because I don't think Rockstar are going to do it. But back to the topic. It's, as I said, the Wii U at the moment doesn't have anything that appeals to me personally. Sure, there's a couple of Mar there's a Mario Brothers Wii U, which is basically Mario Brothers DS on a Wii U console with some minor tweaks. Hmm. Interesting question, Indy. As I say, there's no release date for the PS4 yet. I am tempted to wait for a PS4, but here's the thing. 
there is no guarantee that the PS4 is going to be backwards compatible. There is no damn way. There's no words whether or not that's going to be backwards compatible. And if it's not backwards compatible, it won't be able to play PS3 games. Now, don't get me wrong. By the way, the PS3 does not have backwards compatibility. It has an emulator programmed into it to play the games, and it doesn't always work. There's a difference between emulating and back and back and backwards compatibility. Until they guarantee that the PS4 is fully backwards compatible with PS3 games, I'm probably still going to buy a PS3 because there are a lot of PS3 games that I want to get. And that's another thing that I think Nintendo have done right. To my knowledge, I believe that the Wii U is fully compatible with the Wii games. So they already have an existing library of games, which is actually the best thing to do in my opinion. Yeah, like, the PS2 was the best console ever. I'm trying to get a hold of one again. And, but the PS3 has an emulator programmed in it. And if I wanted a bloody emulator, I'd download it off the bloody internet. There's about 20 of them out there. I know about, I know how to download three. And that just really bugs me about consoles nowadays. Is back in, back when I was growing up, all those many years ago, um... It's the, yeah, I know sort of one version of the PS3 had backwards compatibility, but then they scrapped it because they were like, just fuck them. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll take a free PS3, PS2 if you're offering it. <laughs> um, but it's really debatable. It's, it's depending on your preference. As I say, backwards compatibility, in my opinion, is a big, big selling point for consoles nowadays because... If you offer full backwards compatibility, you guarantee one thing. You guarantee this. You guarantee an existing library of games. Yeah, this should be one of the biggest selling points for most consoles in their starting era. If their backwards compatibility is 100%, more people will buy it because of this. Because of all these games that you've spent your hard-earned money on. Um, Kingdoms of Amalur, although I don't know why you'd play it. Deus Ex, Dance Central. Okay, not this one. Not that one. Halo 3. All these games here, we've all bought. Some of us have bought these games. When the Xbox 720 comes out and it isn't backwards compatible, and if it's not backwards compatible, what do you do with these games? What do you do? Do you keep your existing Xbox 360 and play the games that you've been playing for the past 5-6 years? Or, do you sell them? Why would I want to sell some of these games? Some of these games I will play forever. I ain't selling Deus Ex forever. Um... And I, I just, I'm one of these people that doesn't like to sell my games. I like to keep them. These are mine. You ain't getting them. Don't sell them. This should be one of the biggest sellers. If your console is backwards compatible, guess what? People will be able to feel more confident to go and buy your console because they can actually get rid of their old console and still play these games. They can still play these games. Because they've spent... You, We've all spent hundreds, if not thousands of pounds, dollars, euros. Holy shit, this is an, ex this is an expensive addiction. I just realised that. On these games. And what do we do with them once they're not playable? <sighs> Ew, that's just me. And the, that is a good selling point for the Wii U. Is that... It is backwards compatible, which I like. I like the fact that the Wii U game, the Wii console games that we have in the house, we can play on the Wii U if we decide to get it. However, still doesn't really appeal to me. Like even the fucking even the Wii could play GameCube games. I played Pokemon Coliseum on my Wii. That sounds wrong, but so what? I don't care. Excuse me. Hmm. 
Wow, Alex. We've all spent that much. <laughs> That's good, man. You gotta drink very oily. Oh, yeah. That's a good move on Nintendo. If Sony and Microsoft are smart, they'll do the same. Because if the Xbox 720 comes out and it states that it is fully backwards compatible, guess what? Bought in a heartbeat. Because guess what? All these games I've got under my bed, yes, I keep my games under my bed. I like to sleep atop my games. That sounds so wrong, but screw it. <laughs> um, that. <laughs> that. <laughs> as it, I don't like get rid of these games. These are games that I like. These are, I've still got my copy of Mass Effect 1. In fact, it's right over there. It's right here. I ain't never getting rid of this game. This game will be in my game library until I die. Or until I need to sell it for, for sale it. Which hopefully will never happen. I still have this. Never selling it. There are certain games under my bed I would gladly get rid of, but I would get barely anything for them. For, for Christ's sakes, I still have this. Look at that. I found this up at my grand's. I still have my copy of Jeep Mob. I, I lie. I got the case. Uh, the game wasn't in there, so I'm assuming the game's gone. Um... But I still have this case. I'd still have the game if I didn't lose it. But I still had this. I, st I kept this because this is an absolute fantastic game. Definitely a great game. Couldn't play it though. Because the Xbox 360 barely worked because guess what? It used an emu excuse me, an emulator instead of full backwards compatibility. Which is bullshit in my opinion. It's just my opinion. It all comes down to your own personal preference. Uh, games, PS2 broke three years ago. Blah, 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 blah. Eh. Now, then you also have to get into the debate. How far back do you want the backwards compatibility to be? I have no problem with them maybe not putting full backwards compatibility with, say... Let's use PS4 example. Say the PS4 had full backwards compatibility with the PS3, but didn't have full backwards compatibility with PS2 games. I would be fine with that because I would still keep my PS3 if it was backwards compatibility, which it isn't. I don't have a PS3, by the way. I would still keep my PS2 handy. And that I'm okay with because, fair enough, you can't keep your consoles 100% compatible. That means you have to actually downgrade the thing. Uh, huh. uh, I still, I actually had to upgrade to an Xbox Elite because my original Xbox, um, actually died on me, which was sad. And by the way, I have tried to play Xbox games on the new Xbox, my Xbox Elite doesn't work at all. It crashes all the bloody time. Excuse me. Yeah, back backwards compatibility on the Xbox and PS3 is non-existent. Oh, almost choked there. Mm. Now the reason that there's no backwards compatibility on the Xbox 360 or PS3 is fairly simple. Those consoles were rushed. Now, don't get me wrong, there was a good gap between the Xbox and the Xbox 360 and the PS2 and the PS3. The Xbox 360 is the best example of the console that they were trying to get out as soon as they bloody could, so they skipped the whole bloody backwards compatibility thing in favour of improving the games. Which succeeded to an extent. However, it came, to bite, it came back to bite them on the ass in the end because the PS3 came out and it used Blu-ray which, if a game is exclusively made on the PS3, it looks fucking fantastic. Best examples are the Uncharted series, and also The Last of Us, which looks freaking phenomenal. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to move my dinner. I have finished it, so... Uh, I can move back. I, move, I can move a little closer. 
Excuse me. So, this... Now, a lot of people have been complaining about the delay. The, the, the Basically, the delay in the new generation of consoles. Which, by the way, I don't really classify these as next generation. I classify them as the next evolution. Like, the Wii U is the first step. The next evolution of games consoles. It's, uh... Let's just say it's, a uh, it's the little, it's the, it's the test subject, basically. Ah, excuse me. Ah, excuse me. Well, I think you got lucky, Airless Dragon, because uh, my Xbox games did not work on my 360. I think you got the rare, rare, rare Xbox that did have backwards compatibility. <laughs> um... But it's really, it all comes down to your personal preference, you know, as it is. That is just one thing that really bugs me about these developers, these oh, hardware, sorry, uh, companies that they think they don't need to do backwards compatibility because the games will sell. But what they don't realise is if they don't do backwards compatibility, the X, <laughs> you're going to cut out an entire library of games. Which, I just don't want any consoles, I, just, I don't want these consoles rushed. Yeah, good point, MD. They're just making the uh, the Wii U, the basically Apple console, <laughs> with the tablet and everything. It wouldn't surprise me. It should have been just called the Wii Apple. That actually was that's actually a better name than the Wii U. <laughs> um, uh, but by the way, for anyone wondering, Apple is currently, by the way, supposedly working on a console. Don't quote me on it, but apparently they are. Don't know if it's got guaranteed to work. I don't don't shoot the messenger. I only hear rumors. Um, and as I say, the Wii U is still a debatable console for me. But as I say, well, we've kind of got off the topic of Wii U. Let's just say, let's let me just get my overall opinion. The Wii U, it just it looks like a decent console. It looks like a good step in the direction for Nintendo. More, but it's not really a hardcore console for me. It looks more like a family console as usual from Nintendo. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. And as it says, let's get to the backwards compatibility thing again. As it says, that's a fact. That's a, that should be a major selling point. Like I can't remember, but I don't think the PS3 or the Xbox would say to have full backwards compatibility, which they didn't. They were emulators, which is lazy, in my opinion. It showed that they both consoles were rushed to an extent, uh, and in the same way, I'm kind of glad that the re the new consoles, 720 and the PS4, whenever they come, have been delayed so long, so it gives them more time to get the consoles perfect, or at least to a reasonable standard. But they probably will still be rushed. However, if you're uh, if you're uh, if you really can afford that, you can get a high end spec gaming PC. And play every goddamn game out there with no problem. Uh, excuse me. Mm. Yeah, Nintendo is late to the game. They're they're, they're really, the <laughs> it's a last ditch effort. I, I think if the Wii U bombs, Nintendo will go under. <laughs> oh wait, I can't say that because guess what they've got? They've got Pokemon. They've got these little guys to make them a fucking fortune, which they are still making a fortune off of these guys to this day. <laughs> yeah, the 3DS is... It's stupid. What do you think, Pikachu? The 3DS stupid? What? I'm talking to my Pikachu. I, I'm talking to my Pikachu. Do you think that Nintendo, Pokemon are the only reason Nintendo is still, still standing? He says yes. Good point. Um, he states that Nintendo are only sticking around mainly because of the him. Pikachu. Because he's the, he's the, main, he's the, he's the main selling point for Nintendo. Screw your Mario, screw your Sonic, it's Pikachu. Isn't that right? Mwah. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Um, 
He also tells me to kill everyone every now and then, but I, I just didn't know that part. <laughs> but as I say, it's just a, but someone mentioned here about the Steam Big Picture, which for those that haven't heard, Steam is actually adding the ability to play your games uh, on uh, a Wii U or a PS Vita. Neither. <laughs> PS Vita looks shit, to me anyway. It doesn't really appeal to me. Same with the Wii U. Maybe in the future if they get cheaper. But one thing I want to talk about quickly is... <laughs> um, but I want to talk a wee bit also about the Steam... Basically the Steam console I'm calling it. Excuse me. Uh, in which basically Steam have enabled the ability to link your Steam account uh, up to an internet TV and also like your PC to a TV. I believe, if memory serves me, and you can actually play them, play the games on your TV, which, by the way, we've been able to do for quite some time. <laughs> um, I'm playing, my, I've got my monitor as a TV, um, but they've also added a lot of features like gamepad controls and a lot of little features and all that, which actually look pretty good. Now, what, as I say, I'm trying to avoid Steam because I do not like some of the things on it. Um, well, maybe in the future, when I get my graphics card, I will buy a couple of games off Steam and maybe review them. Um, but I, I like the look of the new Steam cons, the Steam basically big picture thing. I like the look of that. It's like Steam trying to step their way into the console market, um, which I like. I like that. I like I like uh, friendly competition. Wait, it's business. There's no such thing as friendly competition. Uh, the Oyo. Oh yeah, that's that Android console. I laugh. <laughs> Um, for those that haven't heard, there was a massive Kickstarter boom for this console called the Onyo, or Onya, Oya, the Uyuya. I don't know what the fuck I would pronounce it. And it basically earned more than enough to make the console in literally a week. And basically, from what I've heard, do not quote me on this. Apparently, it's going to be playing mostly Android games. Uh, um, if I'm right, I could be wrong about this. I haven't. I don't know that much about the console. Um, and we all know the Android games we're talking about. <laughs> um, and uh, it just doesn't look that good to me, if I'm going to be honest. I, just, I need to know more about it. I need to know more about the console. I need to actually get my hands on it or see some gameplay from it. But from all I've heard, it's basically going to take Android games and put them on this console. That's all it's going to do, apparently. It's also going to have some kind of open source thing in which you can... Oh, someone's linked to a great... Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the... Uh, let's have a look at the Onyo. The Ouya, or whatever the hell it is. Uh, yeah, it earned £8 million. Pound. Sorry, eight million dollars. Um, it's something like on live. Uh, hook up to HD TV. Uh, we get us uh, smartphones. Blah blah blah. Focus on console. We had to create a blah blah blah. That's mobile and social gaming. From what I can read, I'm not reading the whole thing. I'm not going to spend 20 minutes reading a goddamn page of an article. I'll just glance over it. Um, but it just looks basically like a. <laughs> but it it just doesn't look that interesting to me. It looks it's going to be basically another version of On Live, and On Live failed. It failed big time. <laughs> um. It doesn't sound all that great. The on your like, I don't. I see. I see the appeal. I see the appeal. Like a lot of people are saying that the future of gaming is going to be you're not going to own your games anymore. They're all going to be on a cloud, or they're all going to be like an online like thing. You're not going to be able to buy the games anymore. You're going to be able to stream them, which I don't think it will be. I like having hard copies of my games. That's just me. I like to own my games. I either on my hard drive, or as a game, I don't like the idea of of not owning the game. Basically, that's basically what on live says to me. And this on your or or the Android consoles, I'm going to call it now because I'm not even going to fucking say it on you anymore. 
it just doesn't look that interesting for me. I do agree that I do like something new, but it just doesn't appeal to me. And I do agree with you, MD, actually, we're collectors. Hell, look, I've got fucking, I've got this here. I've got my, I've got Kingdom Hearts right here. I'm technically a collector of games now. <laughs> I'm a collector of games. I bought this. I bought this. I bought Final Fantasy VII, Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2. Technically speaking, I'm a collector of games. I like that. I like to collect games. I like doing that. Um, I prefer physical copies. That's just me personally. And if you, if you like the idea of streaming consoles and all that, <laughs> if I could open a retro shop one day, I would love it, but I would fail. Um, uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 is a requirement for all collectors. And uh, by the way, for those wondering, there's X. I have the case cover. I have one of the. This is actually the. This isn't the platinum version. This is actually the original. This is the silver version. And I am going to play it eventually. This is the cover and everything. And by the way, art booklet included. Booklet included. Instruction manual and everything. And by the way, this is full colored. This is a full colored instruction manual. I miss these. I miss full colored detail. This is an instruction manual. This is how you do an instruction manual. Not that piece of shit nowadays. This is an instruction manual. This is what I'll say. Oh, fuck. For fuck's sake, this thing still has this in it. This still advertises the goddamn strategy guide. <laughs> wow. Whoever owned this game before me really liked it. Yeah, like it's the same way with books, as it says, I'm depend I'm different I'm iffy on this. Um I like a physical book, but I also like audiobooks. But if I can I get the physical book. I just prefer physical copies of games. Because as AMD stated, I'm a collector and she's a collector and most of us, if you buy a game, technically speaking, you're a collector of games. And the whole idea of on live and streaming, I really don't like it. I really don't like that idea. I know that it's the future, like it will be inevitable that will be some kind of way of the future of gaming. But as I say, it was... Why are you asking me is it a good thing to join the army? This is about gaming. I'll get to the questions at the end. Hold the questions till the end that aren't related to the topic. I'll let you know when you can ask me. And also it comes down to like permanent internet connection. Basically on live and streaming games is kind of like... How do I say this? It's kind of like a DRM for me. And the your prized possession is Lion King for the Sega Genesis. You jammy. Ah. I wish I still had some of my old games. I've still got my... I think I've still got my Mario 64. Um, not... not we're, we're at the box, unfortunately. I, I destroyed the box as a kid, I, I tell you now. Um, <laughs> but it's really... It all comes down to... like as it's, it's, I really think that the online thing is something that's going to eventually appeal to someone... But eventually, it doesn't appeal to me. I prefer there's always going to be a market for the hard case gamer, the hard, the ones that want to collect the stuff. Um, but it's debatable. It all comes down to the, 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 everyone's opinion. Oh, see you, super elusive man. Mm. And by the way, I am trying to track down an old NES and SNES, so. If anyone can link me to one on eBay, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, but yeah, that's just me. Like, I, all of a sudden, as I've got older, I want to get these older games that I've heard about. But that's just me. I, just, I think I've turned into a gaming collector. I don't, I, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> um, 
Uh, but it, as I said, as it, it doesn't really appeal to me this whole that I prefer physical copies of games. It's debatable. Like I also like to have the game on my hard drive as well if I'm gaming on PC. Like right now I'm playing Baldur's Gate. Not right now, but I'm in the middle of playing it. It's on my hard drive. I actually have it on my hard drive. It isn't getting streamed or anything. I downloaded it off of a site. I bought it. I paid for it, by the way. Uh, and it's on there. And that's just me. That's just me personally. And I prefer to have the game. I don't like the idea of not having the game. Personally. And... Uh... Who's getting Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition? By the way, MD, the game has been delayed. It's been delayed a month of memory serve me. Actually, MD, it's been delayed. <laughs> it's been delayed until the 30th of September, I think. November, thank you. Uh, the For those who don't know, the Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition has been delayed. Till, don't worry, MD. Oh, pat on the back, MD. Um, for those that are wondering, GOG.com are actually doing a deal um, for... Uh, Baldur's Gate at the moment, you can actually get it for six with for seven dollars, or if you're in the UK, five pound. And guess what? It comes with the soundtrack. You pay. I paid five pound, and I got the game. And the soundtrack. And guess what? It's awesome. Uh, it's the original Baldur's Gate. For those that wonder, it's the original Baldur's Gate. Um, the GOG just fixed it up and made sure that it worked on modern consoles. It's awesome. Um, I'll get a link for you, okay? Uh, you owe me for this. Uh, let me just get the link. I tweeted about it a while ago, so uh, but I'll get a link for you. Uh, oops. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I don't. I. <laughs> I think it's only for PC, MD. I do apologise. You will possibly have to wait until you get a PC. But by the way, it actually works on my game. It works on most PCs and without a graphics card, by the way, because it's actually over 10 years old. It's working fine on my computer and it doesn't have any... It means doesn't have a graphics card. So it should work for most. But here's the link to it. I'm not 100% selling. You may have to do a bit of research, MD. It might work on Mac. I don't know. Uh, but... Yeah, there's the link for it. Uh, yeah, I, I know the enhanced edition is for all platforms, but that's the original copy there. Um, just go to that link. It's fi it's five pound, big people. It's five pound, and you get the bloody soundtrack. The soundtrack. In fact, let me just let me just actually just list off what you get for with the game. Basically, for those that are looking at it at the now, for those that can't look at it, um, when you buy this game, you get two manuals. Five HD wallpapers, two maps, the soundtrack, five avatar things, uh, 47 artworks, and two reference cards. You get all that for a fiver. Does anyone help something by mistake? So, as I say, the enhanced edition, I probably will also get, end up getting if I can get it at the time because I want to support the, basically the people that are doing the enhanced edition because I think it's a good idea. But as I said, if you want to get it new, it's five pound at the moment. Get it, it. It works on most. It works on most modern PCs without a graphics card because mine doesn't have a graphics card and it's running fine. Um, but yeah, uh, I've got that going on here. Uh, so I think we're done with the topic now because we're just going to talk about random shit again. Um, just saying, I'm not too sure, but I think Neverwinter Nights is also reasonably cheap on GOG at the moment. Let me just double check. But let me just actually have a look on GOG.com. I think Neverwinter Nights is... Uh, they've actually got a deal on for a lot of these games. Um, yeah, Neverwinter Nights is also only £5 or $7. Which is awesome. Um, as I said, I'm going to get Neverwinter Nights eventually as well. Um, but uh, I right now I just wanted to get one game and I got Baldur's Gate. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so as it, it, by the way, I've don't, I've only, not that I'm not that far any Baldur's Gate. I've only started playing it. Um, uh, oh, graphical pro uh, uh, GPU. Uh, that's not too, a graphic processing yet. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, good point. Um, but yeah, as I say, like, it comes down to preference. As I say, if you want to get it, it's £5 and the deal will last for a wee while. So, um, by the way, you can buy it now and you don't, by the way, when you buy it on GOG, you don't have to download it. You actually, it goes to your account and it stays there until you want to download it. But you can download everything else off there right away. You just need to click it and it'll download it straight there. I'm pretty sure the soundtrack still works on Mac and the more papers and all that still work on Mac AMD, but it's just the game might not work on Mac. I'm not 100% certain. Um, you might need to do a wee bit of research. I'm not 100% certain. Um, but you still get the soundtrack if you want. And in my opinion, the soundtrack is worth the price they're asking for. I had to listen to it. It is bloody awesome. It is, it is the soundtrack that I love. So, my advice, AMD, wait until you've gone upgraded PC to get the game. But... If you can just get the soundtrack, it's well worth it. The soundtrack is awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm I'm plugging GOG right now because they're awesome. Um, and by the way, they are also in works with uh, the people who that made The Witcher 2, by the way. Um, yeah, you've missed the whole topic, sorry. Um, so, do we have any questions out there? Fire them away, I've got some time to kill. Um... Yeah, that some games are a bit tricky to get. Uh, what do you think of Collision Rift? Co co circular Rift? Ocular Rift? What the hell is that? I can't... Sorry, my monitor's gone a wee bit iffy. Oculus Rift. Never heard of it. <laughs> um, I've never heard of Oculus Rift. Sorry. Is it on GOG or is it a new game coming out? It's a DLC that will enrage me? What the hell's this? Okay, let's have a look at it. Uh, don't... I'm looking at the Kickstarter now. Step into... Oh, God. It's a fucking virtual boy. <laughs> it's a... It's one of those fucking virtual reality helmets. Oh, God. God, I'm sorry, I hate those things. I really, really hated those things. I hated them as a kid, and I hate them now. They, like, I don't get motion sickness or anything, I'm lucky that way, but these things made me ill. Like, the, did any of you ever have these arcade machines where there's, like, virtual roller coasters? I think they were everywhere at one point. Like... Virtual roller coaster where you just sit down and it just like it does the whole roller coaster thing, simulates it. Oh god, I hated those things. I despise them. It's basically a version of virtual reality to an extent. And I would not pay three hundred bloody pound for that shit. That is, oh, I really hate that. Until they bring out the holographic technology from Star Trek, I'm okay. <laughs> Until the holodeck comes, I'm good. Uh. I'm trying to 100% Skyrim, and every time there is an update, they add those DLC achievements in the list. Meaning, if you want 100%, yeah, yeah, I know the DLC. I've no, I don't, I'm not 100%. This one, I'm okay. But I do feel apologize for that. Um, so do we have any more questions? The virtual reality thing can go fuck itself with its eye sockets. <laughs> and by the way, if you've ever, by the way, that's the that's the first step to sword art online. Whoever's watching that anime will get that reference. <laughs> uh, Scottish, this is my live stream with you until four weeks for now. Oh, sorry to hear, um, Charles, hope you enjoy your holiday. Um, but have you heard of the Neo Geo handheld? Yes, I have heard of it. It's very expensive. If memory serves me, like, when I heard about it, it was 500 US dollars for the Neo Geo handheld. That's about 400 pounds. Give or take. Um, uh, any more questions? Uh, bo uh, getting Borderlands 2. I actually didn't like Borderlands 1. I played a little bit of it. It's just not my type of game. I'm not getting Borderlands 1 or 2. Sorry. It's just not my type of game. I do apologise. I really don't like those type of games. 
But that's just me. I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry. I just don't like the look of it. Um, what do you what do you think of the PS3 not getting the Skyrim DLC Don God? It's fucking bullshit. I I know about this story, and for those that haven't heard, the PS3 possibly will never get the Skyrim DLC Don Guard. Now I haven't played Don Guard. I do have enough Microsoft points to get it. I will eventually play it, don't worry, but at the moment I'm saving my Microsoft points because I'm broke. Uh, but for those that haven't heard the Skyrim for is not for the PS3 to the knowledge is not going to get Dawn Guard, which really pissed me off. Even though I'm not a PS3 gamer, I still feel sympathetic for them, for them because it's basically Bethesda and Microsoft giving you a big fuck you. Because in my opinion, if you're going to release a DLC for a game, it should be available on all platforms on the same day. In my opinion, you should not release the DLC a month before on Xbox before any other console. In my opinion, I think that if you're going to release a DLC, you release it on every single console that your game is on, on the same day if possible. In my opinion. If there are technical issues, I respect that. But it's just my opinion that if you're going to do that, you're going to have to bloody just fix it and just release the DLCs. The PS3 thing just really pissed me off. I really hated that. Um, I feel sorry for you on PS3 that can't play Dawn Guard. I'm going to play Dawn Guard eventually. Just give me time to get to it. But it really, I do really feel sorry for you because it, it, it really pisses me off. Bethesda lost some respect, in my opinion, because of the whole Microsoft basically giving them money and saying, here, give us a 30-day exclusive exclusivity. For uh, Xbox 360. When in actual fact probably they should have given it to PC. PC probably should have been the first to get it. I'll happily admit that. Because PC is the best version of it. But it's debatable. I That's just my opinion. And it really does frustrate me. Um, if you actually give me two seconds. I actually have to pop off and grab go grab something. I'm not going to turn the stream off. So you're just going to get complete. Um, um, I'll be back in two seconds. And I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to pop off for two seconds. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ow. Ah, okay, so, uh, do I have any more questions out there? Just, uh, file them away. I'll answer as many as I possibly can. Ah. Ho, he, ho, ho. I will eat your soul. How old was I when I got my little Pikachu? Is it going to be hard to believe? I got this when I was five. <laughs> I've had this P This Pikachu is not one that you can buy. Like, all the... one. Of the, this, actually, this Pikachu is from when Pokemon first started. I've had this Pikachu since I was five years old. I had this Pikachu when I got my Pokemon Yellow. And when I was first watching Pokemon. The original Pokemon. And he's been with me ever since. Haven't you? He's been with me since he's been with me through thick and thin. 
He's the only thing that survived my childhood. And he, yeah, he uh, he did lose a bit of his colour, unfortunately. Um, he still got his brown. Um, he st unfortunately, he did have little white bits there, but I picked away them. Um, but he's still, he's my Pikachu. Mm. He's He's been in every single one of my beds. He There hasn't been a bed I've slept in that he's been with, that I've never had him in. And he'll always be with me. I don't care if I'm the saddest man in Scotland. No, I didn't sleep with it. I didn't sleep with it. It slept in my bed. It's an inanimate object. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've had this since I was a little kid, so... Mm, screw you if you don't like it. Mm, Pikachu. E Come to think of it, I don't think it's been washed. <laughs> um, anyway. Oops, shit. Uh, do I have any more questions? Fire them away. I'll answer anything that comes my way. Uh, so, have you been watching Doctor Who? Um, I've been watching the new series Doctor Who. I've only watched episode one. I have yet to watch the next episode. I just haven't had much. I just keep forgetting to watch it. So, don't spoil it for me. I am a fan of Doctor Who. If that's not hard to believe. Since I am a geek. <laughs> um, let's see where else we go. Uh, do you sm smell your games after you buy them? Yes. I love the smell of a new game. Um, let's see, how's the job hunting coming? Shit. Simple as, the job hunting is coming shit. No jobs anyway, unfortunately. <laughs> so, yeah, no gate, no jobs, so no money. Uh, we all smell everything, we smell our books. <laughs> the job market is shit, I have no job. You'd be surprised how good a snow book and new game smell. Um, have you heard of the Indie Uprising? Uh, Indie Uprising 3. Uh, I've heard of the Indie Uprising. I don't think it's a game. I think it means like the rise of the Indie market. Um, that's what I get. And I know it's like the rise of the Indie games and all that. Which I kind of like some Indie games. But yeah, as it is, I don't know that much about it. Um... Hail the uprisings. <laughs> um, do you have any more questions? Fire them away. Uh, what Final Fantasy have you beaten? Let me, let me just... I need, to, I need to think. Number one. Divide by two. Minus three emo gets. Uh, times one slot. And... Divide by one piece of jailbait. None. <laughs> I have finished no Final Fantasy game ever. In fact, I remember exactly where I finished every single Final Fantasy game off. I can tell you right now. Final Fantasy VIII, I stopped playing it the moment that freaking song Eyes On Me came on. That song was bad. I don't, if you liked a good, I don't know how you can like it. It was bad. Final Fantasy X, I stopped playing at the moment Titus laughed. And Final Fantasy X two, the moment I saw near enough the, I think it was the moment where you had to give one of the enemies of the game, one of the female enemies of the game, a back rub to give her a. I'm trying to think of a classic word to say. You had to give her orgasm. Tend to sucked ass. I remember exactly where I stopped playing all Final Fantasy games. This here is the last hope for the Final Fantasy franchise for me. This here is of course considered to be the, well in my opinion, well in a lot of people's opinion, the best JRPG ever to be made. But then a lot of people say that it's not the best game in the Final Fantasy franchise. A lot of people say it's Final Fantasy VI that's the best game in the Final Fantasy franchise. Um, how the fuck could you like it? Final Fantasy VIII sucked. Oh, God. Uh, but, yeah, I'm giving one more chance to Final Fantasy with this game here. So, here's hoping this does well. 
Um, a lot of people consider Final Fantasy VI to be the best also. I am trying to get a hold of that, so that'll be a bit of a hard one, though, because that's a really hard game to get a hold of. Um, so after, I still don't get it. How the hell can you like Final Fantasy VIII, James? That game sucked. Do I know how it sucked? Here's my advice. Watch the Spoony Experiments review of Final Fantasy VIII. That sums up my feelings in a nutshell. <laughs> And also, the main main protagonist was a emo get, and the well, the female love interest was a slut who probably would sleep with you if you offered her dog food. <laughs> I shit you not. Uh, um, let's see what else we got. Have you ever played Blue Dragon? Nope, never played it. I knew no of it. Never played it, so I'll maybe give it a try in the future. Uh, so like most Japanese girls, yep. Uh, if you could pick one video game character in a back alley brawl and team up to to team up with, who would you pick? Rex, Grunt, Rex or Grunt, mainly because they have my back. <laughs> and plus, they the Krogans. No one beats a Krogan. <laughs> uh, so I'd probably go with Grunt if I'm going. To, uh, I'd go with Rex. If I couldn't have a Krogan, Liara. Um, uh, it's just one indie game coming up between the 10th or so. Okay. Um, if you could play only one of these games forever, which would it be? Arkham City, Portal 2, or Dragon Age 2? Hmm. The bit, really tricky question. Like, as I say, I like Portal 2 and I like Dragon Age 2, but I'd have to go with, um, Batman Arkham City. I'd have to go with Arkham City, mainly because Portal 2, I suck at puzzle games. In fact, I have a playthrough of Portal 2 on my gaming channel that I don't use anymore. Uh, uh, Dragon Age 2, even though I love the Dragon Age universe, I really could not... I could not play through Dragon Age 2 before killing myself because of three characters. Sebastian, Anders, and... What's the... What's his name? He The Final Fantasy ripoff. Fenris. That's who it is. Oh, and Carver. You can't forget Carver. God, I hate those guys. I end up killing myself. <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yeah, Batman is the man. Uh, what crossover would you like to see in a film? I would like to see a crossover between... Star Wars and uh, I don't know Star Wars and Batman. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm I'm really shit at Ben Crossover. Sorry. I Star Wars and Batman just to see how Batman beat the living shit out of Anakin Skywalker for being an evil get. <laughs> Uh. Uh. uh okay, we'll take up my questions. What would you take what would it take you to try the Harvest Moon games? Someone asked me to review them. <laughs> Simple. As I say, I'll review any game, I'll give any game a try, no matter what. So MD, if you want me to review the Harvestman games, tell me a Harvestman game to try and get a hold of, and I'll try my best to get a hold of it. And if I can, I'll review it. Simple. I, as it is, I'll play any game. Uh, review Harvest Moon Animal Crossing. If I can get a hold of it, I'll review it. Or if anyone wants to donate it to me via my donation button, I'm kidding. They don't have to. No, no, don't do it. Don't, 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 don't do it. Uh, oh, I mean Animal Paradise. Uh, animal Parade. Um, I'll give it a try, MD. If I can get a hold of a copy of it, I'll get it. What what consoles are on? Uh, and if, if I can, I'll get it. Um, Who would you rather have on your side? Master Chief or Commander Shepard? Uh, it's on Wii. Cheers. I'm sorry, 
It's really tricky. Would it be my shepherd? Hmm. Master Chief's badass and all, but I'd have to go with shepherd because it's my shepherd and my shepherd kicks ass. Uh, I'd rather have Shepard on my side because he's awesome. My Shepard kicks ass. Master Chief is okay, but I just, I just say he's, he's kind of a one directional character. <laughs> ah, shameless plug, Alex. Nice one. Uh, yeah, Master Chief is kind of bland after a while. Um, uh, so, do we have any more questions? I'll take two, two or three more and then I have to end the stream. Uh, so, fire away the questions. Because we have so many to ask. Uh, so... What do you eat for breakfast? Kind of a weird question. Um, cereal, toast, whatever's in the fridge. <laughs> Simple. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Have you seen the recreation of Half-Life called... Okay, heads up, I've never played Half-Life, so I do know of the Black Mesa thing. I've never played Half-Life, so I don't know anything about it. Sorry. Uh. If you could play any villain, who would it be? Um, I don't know. I think I probably I, I, as fun it would as fun as it would be to be Joker. As fun as it would be to be Joker, I would really want a possibly kind of want it be a. I'm just gonna stay Joker. I'm going to say Joker. Um, uh, I am about... Yeah, I've seen the trailer. I've seen all the stuff about Black Mesa. I have seen it. And now I'm going to get like 15 angry emails basically telling, pe telling me to play bloody... <laughs> telling me to play bloody Half-Life. And, and I'm going to get like 20 angry emails. And I... Everyone's going to hate me. Oh god! I'm gonna get like I'm gonna get like okay. If someone sends me so if someone sends me a goal with this, I'm gonna be I'm saying no. I'm just uh, no. I'm gonna get like twenty angry emails basically saying people oh shit MD gave me the glare. Uh okay, I will play it. Um, just stop giving me the glare, MD, please. It's disturbing. Really disturbing. Stop it. I'll play it. I'll play it. I'll play it. Just stop giving me the stare. Stop giving me the stare. Uh, it's disturbing. Uh. <laughs> um, you cannot judge a game without playing it. Exactly. I never. I don't judge games without playing them. I just. I'll give my opinion on what the way they look like, but as it says. I'll play any game if anyone recommends it to me. If you want to see my review of it, tell me and I'll put it on the list. <laughs> Hell, one of you told me to get Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 and Final Fantasy 7. I got them. <sighs> I'm going to take a wild guess, Alex, and say Resident Evil. <laughs> oh, good luck with the Keith Lemon one. <laughs> Uh, uh, so do we have any more questions firing about, uh, I'll take, oh, I keep saying I'm going to take one or two more, but I end up taking like three. <laughs> um, uh, I'll go to, but the, I'll go to maybe the one hour, fifth, I'll go with the one hour, I think I'll make this a, an hour and a half special, so, uh, uh, you've got ten, you've got ten more minutes of me, so roughly, do you have any more questions? Uh, will you join the army? No. Because I would not survive it. I wouldn't survive boot camp. I'd be dead. I am seriously unfit and unhealthy. <laughs> um, 
How are you doing at college? I'm doing really well at college, thanks for asking. Don't I talk too much about it? A lot of boring shit. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, no offense, I respect people who join the army, I respect them immensely, because, um, it's because they're willing to risk their lives, I just know I wouldn't survive in the army more than five minutes, I'd be dead, <laughs> I'd be dead within five minutes, um, should I visit Scotland, if you ever want to visit Scotland, go ahead, Scotland's a beautiful place to come, uh, go in certain parts, go up to the highlands, go see the glorious beauty of Scotland and if any time to come across Glasgow and Glasgow and have to see me walking down the street I'll use a hug um, so do we have any more questions I'll take I've oh, got 10 more minutes so fire away questions or if there's anything you want me to talk about let me know uh, just gotta check my tweets actually quick because I haven't taken them in a while damn there's a lot of tweets uh, let me say again, just load, loading everything up. Uh, will you dress as William Wallace? I'll do what I'll dress as William Wallace once I hit 5,000 subscribers, which is never going to happen. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I don't dress up for Halloween anymore, sorry. So, that's my guarantee to you. If I ever hit 5,000 subscribers, I'll do a whole video dressed as William Wallace. <laughs> I'll get the wig and everything. I'll get the blue face paint. I'll get a rep with a claymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it, that kind of thing would take a lot of effort to do. And I would really want to do it for a special video. So I'll do it for 5,000 subscribers. How about that? So. There. It's on, it's on the internet now. 5,000 subscribers and I'll do that. Wear, wear a kilt and sing Titanic at 1,000. I've already got something planned for 1,000, but if I can, I'll wear a kilt for my 1,000 subscriber celebration as well. So, we'll see. Um, I will, will, I will wear a kilt in one of my videos, don't worry. But at the moment, I don't own one. They are expensive. Just to let you know, kilts are expensive. The cheapest you can get a kilt here is run about somewhere 70 to 100 pound. Yeah, kilts are expensive. <laughs> okay, I'm... Oh, shit. I just remembered. MD, you've got a massive fan base right now. Oh, shit. Please don't. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, I'm screwed. I'm going to have to wear a kilt and dress up like William Wallace. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> well, borrow one of my sisters. My sister's eight years old and she only comes up to my hip. <laughs> I don't think her skirts will, or her skirts will fit me. <laughs> uh, I, I know a place where I can get a kilt fairly cheap and I do intend to buy one. Eventually, um, I have I'm all, I've always wanted to buy a kilt, so I am buying a kilt eventually. Don't worry about that. And if I hit five thousand subscribers, I'll wear it in every video after that. <laughs> oh god, shit! I should not have said that. Oh bugger! It's on the net now. Everyone knows. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's I know I, I I exaggerate. I will eventually wear a kilt in a video, but five thousand subscribers and I'll date William Wallace. Hell, I might even day talk. I might even day you one bear. I don't live that far away from the Wallace Well. I'll go to the Wallace Well dressed as William Wallace. How about that? <laughs> oh. By the way, there is a Wallace Well. I've seen it. I've been to it. <laughs> Do you have any idea how expensive it is to hire a horse? Halloween special. I may do a Halloween special, AMD. I'm not percent certain what I'm going to do yet. Um, I have a couple ideas, but I'm not going to say any of them just yet. Um, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. Um, I've got a couple ideas, but I'm not going to say it just yet. 
maybe a maybe a certain short series I've been working on might make its debut that day. I don't know, maybe, if everything goes according to plan. Uh, okay, five minutes left, clan. Um, do we have any more questions? Uh, how the fuck did you see that picture of me dressed up for Halloween? Oh yeah, I put it on Facebook and Twitter. Oh well. Yeah, I dressed up as a hat drag queen for Halloween one year, which was fun. Um, what do you think of the Gangnam Style? What the hell is the Gangnam Style? What the hell is the Gangnam Style? I have no idea what the hell that is. A dance? I'll watch it eventually. Uh, I'll check it eventually, but I don't... If it's one of these stupid bloody internet things where like everyone's doing it, I don't do that shit, sorry. I really don't do that stuff because it's stupid. It's bloody retarded. I really don't like it, I'm sorry. I will not do stupid shit like that. I do stupid stuff on my channel, but I don't do stupid gangum and bloody cinnamon challenge. But I've, 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 ten people wanted me to do that. <laughs> um... Did you ever see the anime Saint Senya? Uh, no, I've never seen the anime Saint Senya. Um, it's probably another anime that I need to watch. <laughs> I have so many animes I need to watch, it's unbelievable. I still need to watch Cowboy Bebop and uh, Outlaw Star. Um, <laughs> uh, what books am I reading right now? I'm not reading any books at the moment. Um, but just let you know, the uh, I have just finished watching every. I have just finished watching five hundred and sixty-three episodes of One Piece in about three to four weeks. I have no life. <laughs> I have watched nearly six hundred episodes of One Piece. In less than four weeks. I have so much time on my hands right now. <laughs> um, uh, have you ever watched True Blood? Uh, yeah, I've watched True Blood. I was a fan of it for a while. The, the latest season got a bit iffy for me in a while. A fan of hentai. You dirty bugger. Of course, I've watched hentai. I'm not a fan of it. I was a teenager once. Technically, kind of still am. I'm pretty sure everyone here has watched hentai at one point, and don't lie to me, people. I know you have all watched hentai. Pikachu knows what you have watched. Isn't that right, Pikachu? Everyone there has watched hentai. And he knows it. Pikachu knows what you watch. He, kn he knows... You cannot lie to Pikachu. Pikachu knows you. Isn't that right, Pikachu? You've all watched Hentai. He knows. He knows. <laughs> that was oddly specific, MD. <laughs> Have you watched Dragon Ball Z Hentai? Ooh, I'm pretty sure some of us have. <laughs> I'll admit I've watched it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You were very specific there, MD. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, we've got a few wee bit left. Um, what's hentai? Oh no, don't link to porn. Don't link to porn, I'll get shut down. Move, remove, remove the link. How do I remove the link? How do I get rid of this link? I gotta get rid of this link. Oh shit. Don't click the link. Don't click the link. Don't. Do not click the link. Whatever you do. Uh, how do I clear the chat? How do I clear the chat? How do I clear the chat? Shit. Clear the chat. Clear the chat. Clear the chat. I don't know how to clear the chat. Where is it? Is 
Yeah, hentai is anime porn for those who don't know. The fuck did I clear the chat? I can't find the clear of the chat. Oh well, fuck it. I get blocked, I get blocked. Screw you. Uh, right, that's about it guys. I've gone up to head notes. Just went past the one hour, half mile mark. Um, so hopefully I don't get banned for that link. Cause, oh god. I get banned, screw you. Um, but thank you all for all you who've come. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this was entertaining enough for you. Um, you'd be surprised, trust me. I've seen a few live streams get shut down because of stupid trolls putting porn links. Excuse me. Um, that's not a problem. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this stream. Hope it was an interesting topic. Uh, it's a whole debate, trust me. I've seen plenty of streams get shut down because of stupid people putting porn links. Trust me. Um, but yeah, thanks for all you who came. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was entertaining for you. I hope it was an interesting topic. I hope you had a good laugh and everything went good for you. I hope it was you enjoyed it. And uh, and uh, me and Pikachu really do appreciate you coming. I hope you enjoyed it. Isn't that right, Pikachu? So thank you again for all of you who came. I hope you enjoyed it. And I have now set another goal. 5,000 subscribers. And I will do a, uh, William Wallace at Wallace Well. So uh, thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed this. And now if you excuse me, me and Pikachu need some alone time. And by alone time, I know what you think. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on.